Bob, we know the early universe was very simple, very uniform, and today we have incredible complexity in the world that we know. And we know the gravity and how it brought things together. And if we look today, there are complex things, there are simple things. Uh, as a physicist, how do you look upon this issue of simplicity and complexity? Well, the short answer is I view chaotic behavior as natural and simplicity as unnatural, by which I mean specifically simplicity is emergent. When things organize themselves, they become simple. They didn't start out that way. They made the simplicity. Now, let me contextualize this a little bit. This dichotomy you've described is actually Greek. It goes all the way back to before the Stoic philosophers. And uh, it's just schools of thought. One school of thought says the universe is chaotic. The other school of thought says it's sim simple. Now, uh, of course, the reality is it's both. And uh, what, we're, what we're explaining is paths from one to the other. Mm -hmm. You appreciate, I trust, that interest in simple things making complex things has a very practical technical application, which is cryptography. We are, in our modern electronic age, very obsessed with simple formulas that give very complex things because that's how you encrypt your bank statements, mm -hmm. okay? Now, is that the natural state of affairs or is it unnatural? Well, you said the universe at the beginning was very simple. How do you know that? Well, very uniform. Who says? How do you know that? What measurement tells you that the universe was very uniform? The fact of the matter is we don't have any me measurements of the early universe. We haven't the foggiest idea of what was going on there. We do think it was blowing up. Now, when things are blowing up, it makes it very hard to do measurements mm. and understand what's happening there. Mm. I suppose the early universe might have been like a stick of dynamite. It started out this little <laughs> simple, then it blew up. <laughs> it became complicated. Evidence says it might have done that. But you can't go backwards from the destruction that dynamite wreaks and figure out deductively that the dynamite was simple. You can't do that. Explosions are unstable. Mm. It's blowing up. <laughs> okay. Well, you, you mentioned something very interesting in terms of uh, simplicity being an emergent property in today's world, where something complex came together in some way and created something. Now, that, that's the opposite of the way many would think. Many people would think that you have a lot of simple parts and they come together to make something complicated. That's the normal way that you would think. And you reverse that to kind of give us a, a new way to think about the world that we live in. I suppose so. You know, it really isn't all that new. And there are examples of both. For example, uh, my favorite thing in the world, which is a big piece of silicon, starts out life very hot, as jumbled, complicated atoms. And then um, it cools and registers and becomes something simple, and it gets some special properties as a result. Now, those properties are very simple. That's why you can engineer with them. On the other hand, I suppose you might have the early world with a bunch of water and, and some lightning strikes in it, and uh, so many people think chemistry happened and life emerged, and life is really complicated. Now, I guess the simplest answer I could give you is the natural world I know about has both kinds of things going in it. And things flow in both directions. Yes. Now that that is uh, a, a a rich understanding, and 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 that itself adds to the richness. I don't want to say complexity because that would be kind of circular. You know, um, I, many physicists are so obsessed with the idea of simplicity that they can't appreciate the glory of the world around them and the magnificent variety that it has much of which it made of its own accord. Now, you ask anybody on the street, a housewife dealing with a family, a contractor dealing with subsoils, uh, somebody dealing with the weather, and they'll all laugh in your face. Of course it's complicated. You know, Life is complicated. 
It's only the physicists who think it's not complicated. <laughs> so this is not a revelation at all. But you, but from a physics point of view, when you're trying to really understand reality, you you have to understand the levels of of simplicity. That in some cases, simplicity may be some small independent things, and in other cases, simplicity may be a a, a different way of organizing complex things. Sure, and let's let's focus that a little bit and note that. A scientist is trying to figure out how things work, and so is looking for simple things in nature as a clue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay? So we kind of care about the simple things more than the complicated ones. We'll say they're not important. Now, saying a puppy is not important is absurd. You know, a puppy is important, but it's not simple and easy to understand. Uh, whereas a gas uh, a molecules is. And uh, so that's our job, and so we care about those things more. And so that's why you may be focusing on simple things because Correct. they're easy to to mm -hmm. explain, easier than ga uh, the, uh, gas laws are easier to explain than than, than a puppy than animals exactly. <laughs> and 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 so now since that's what we're trying to do, then we reach this more subtle dichotomy: is whether the simplicity is reaching down for the fundamentals, mm -hmm. or whether you're finding some way it organizes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the answer is both? The answer definitely is both. Uh, uh, atoms become, ex material matter becomes extremely simple when you strip it down to atomic cores and mm -hmm. electrons. The experimental properties are lovely. Okay? On the other end of the scale, you turn on your water tap and the water flows out. This beautiful flow, which is a classic hydrodynamics, no one knows how to deduce that behavior from the properties of those atoms. It sort of makes sense, but to prove the beauty of that, of that flow of water, no, nobody can do it. Too that. complicated. Yes, it's too complicated.